Okay, so the process starts just with creating a Google account if you don't already have one. So you can just look this up on Google, but you're going to accounts.google.com, which will take you to this page right here where you can type in your information um, and actually create your Google account. Once you have the Google account, then you can sign into YouTube with the Google account and you'll see your profile picture or just like the first letter of your first name up here in the corner. And you just click on that and then you click create channel and that is going to actually create a channel. And when you do that, this is really important. It is going to prompt you to give your channel a name. You can change this name later if you want to, so don't worry about it too much, but you do need to type in some sort of name to create your channel. So once your channel is created, it will look a little something like this, only a lot blanker because this will probably just be the first letter of your first name and up here it'll be blank. So what you need to do is click this button right here that says customize channel and that is going to unlock editing all of those different things. So it'll take you to this page where you can add a video spotlight and the featured sections if you don't have content though yet, you won't be able to do those things yet. But what you can do is hop over to the branding tab and you can add a profile picture, which I would definitely recommend you do. And you can add that banner image that gets shown at the top of your channel on all the different devices. So you can just upload that right here. And you also could add a video watermark, not super important, but it can be fun to do and it can help protect your content from being stolen. And then if you click over into the last tab here, basic info, this is where you can add the description for your channel and that's what you see if you click on the about section so this description right here you edit it inside the channel customization option and then you can also see your channel ID and you can customize a unique memorable custom URL that you can send people to more easily and this is also and this is the last thing we're going to talk about here where you can add links so when you're on your channel, up here in the banner, there's these links over here and you can add links to your Instagram and your Facebook and your Twitter and your TikTok and your website and even to a specific page on your website if you want people to go a specific place. And where you add all those links is again in the customized channel settings over here. You can just type in the links and you can give them a title because the whole link won't be displayed, just the title and people can click on it to go to the link. Now, as you're thinking about starting your channel, you're obviously thinking about making the videos you're going to put on your channel. And in order to make the videos, you need some sort of equipment. You need something to film these videos with. Now this really can be as simple or as complicated as you make it. You can use something you have right now, like your smartphone, or you can do a ton of research and buy some really expensive equipment and more really expensive equipment and more and more and more. It's really endless how much money and time you can invest into filming equipment. But is that really necessary? I say no, definitely not, especially when you're first starting out. My top recommendation truly is for you to start with the gear you have. Start with your smartphone. Now, is that video quality good enough to take your channel to millions of subscribers? Well, possibly. There definitely are some big channels that still film using phones. However, it's definitely good enough for you to get your channel started with, try making your first videos, figure out if you even like making videos, and work on developing some consistency with. Once you get to a point where you've proven to yourself that you are going to be consistent with this and stick with this for a while, then you can reward yourself by upgrading your gear and investing in a camera. Now, if you just have to know what camera to buy, maybe because your phone can't record good enough videos or you really want to be filming on a camera for one reason or another, my top recommendation for new creators would be the Canon M50. This is a really beginner-friendly, budget-friendly type camera that still produces really good quality results and is actually the camera I'm filming this video on. One last really important thing about equipment, lighting matters. Regardless of what camera you are using, the better your lighting, the better the shot will look. And this is especially true if you are using a lower quality camera or your phone. Those cameras have teeny tiny sensors in them that just can't pick up that much light. And so lighting becomes extra important. 
Now that doesn't mean you have to run out and buy some expensive lights. You can just sit in front of a window and have the light light you and have your background be a bit dark, or of course, turn the lights on in the room and that works too. That's totally fine for getting started. When you're first starting a channel, it really just is about you learning to work with what you have, developing that consistency, figuring out how to script a video and all those sorts of things. You will be able to improve the actual quality of the videos as you go. Okay, so let's be real about it. Your first YouTube videos will probably have a lot of room for growth, but that's normal and it's okay. At this point, I've been on YouTube for over six years, four of those years right here on this channel. I've made a lot of mistakes in that time and I've also learned what makes the difference and what really matters when it comes to building a successful channel. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. So you have this goal of starting a successful YouTube channel, but you can only reach that goal if you're clear about what that really means. So what really makes a YouTube channel successful anyway? First of all, a lot of work. Now I know that from the outside, it can look like YouTubers have it really easy and that all they're doing is recording a video each week and posting it and that surely that doesn't take more than a few hours. But the reality is that there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes of building a successful YouTube channel, starting with those videos. On average, I spend one day per video that I post. Now, yes, that's just one day per week, not too much work. But in order to make the amount of money that I do from my channel, I also have to do a whole lot of other things. Things like doing other marketing efforts to be able to grow my channel and managing the team that helps me produce the videos and selling the products on the back end that help my channel to actually make more money. And that's my experience making relatively simple videos, having the editing outsourced, and only making one video per week. When you look at those creators who are pumping out two, three, four videos a week, or even a video every single day, and some of them with much more elaborate, involved types of videos than I make, you can only imagine how much time goes into their video production each and every week. And starting a successful channel isn't just about putting in the time and effort to create the videos. It's really about running a business because that's what you're starting when you start a YouTube channel that you are planning to monetize. You're starting a business and along with starting a business comes things like managing admin, marketing, your website, maybe products that you sell, probably a team that helps you produce and edit your videos as well as run the rest of your business and definitely a whole lot of taxes. No doubt about it, it is a lot of work. But if you love creating videos and you want to do this for your job, then it's worth it. Personally, being a YouTuber is my dream job. I love creating, I love performing, I love teaching, I love video, and I love working for myself. So getting to do this full time professionally really is a dream come true. I mean, on the one hand, yes, it is a lot of work, but you get to set your own schedule. And so you get to work with your energy and work when you have the energy to do the work, which I think changes everything. And yes, it also means you're starting a business and you have to pay the taxes and everything else that comes along with it. But it also means that you get to be the boss and you get to decide what your business does and how your company runs and where you're going to take your business. Okay, so let's move on talking about what you actually need to do to start a successful YouTube channel. The first thing is you need to decide what your channel is going to be about. What topic will your channel focus on? What topics will your videos be about? So the big question you're asking here is what is the main topic you want to make your videos about? A lot of people think like, how far do I niche down? And a lot of people give the advice that you have to go super niche to be able to stand out from the competition so you don't have too much competition, that sort of thing. But it's just not true. You don't have to go super niche. In fact, I recommend going with a topic that's pretty popular and that there is competition out there for it because that proves that there's also interest in that topic. But what you do need to do is choose a central topic. 
one main topic that your channel focuses on that all your videos are about. That topic can be pretty broad, but you need to know what it is. And while you're thinking about coming up with that topic, make sure it's something where you're gonna provide some sort of value in your videos. Now that doesn't mean that you need to create tutorial videos or that you need to teach people things or even give them advice or anything like that necessarily. Entertainment is a value in itself and that might be the type of value that you choose to provide on your channel. But you also might choose some sort of educational topic where you're teaching people about something. The choice is yours, but people are only going to watch your videos if they get some sort of value out of them and it's gonna be a lot easier for you to give that value if you're clear on what the value you're trying to give is. And finally, one more thing you'll wanna consider when choosing this topic and kind of defining your vision for your channel is how are you gonna stand out from your competition? How are you going to be different from the other people who are making videos on this same topic? Now this is important because if you're exactly the same as another channel, then it will be difficult for you to stand out. Or if you're really similar to everyone else who's talking about that topic, again, difficult to stand out. But that doesn't mean you need to put a lot of thought into it. Most likely, if you just choose a topic and you focus in on it, you're naturally going to approach it somewhat differently than most other people who are talking about that topic. You have your own unique appearance and personality and perspective, and you're gonna bring your own style and format to your videos. So as long as you don't try to explicitly copy one of your competitors, you'll naturally be different and you'll naturally stand out. As long as you make good quality videos about topics people are actually interested in, and you stay focused on one main topic. Your next task, deciding what to name your channel. Now you might already have a name in mind, in which case you can skip onto the next step. But for those of you who are a little bit conflicted here, maybe about whether you should choose your own name or a branded name or a name that describes what your channel does, here's a little bit of insight. Choosing your own name is a great choice if you want to build a personal brand, if you want to be the face of the company that you're starting, if you want to have people look to you as an expert or an industry leader or an entertainer or a celebrity. On the other hand, if you'd be more comfortable in a behind the scenes type role, then you might wanna give your channel more of a descriptive name or a brand name, where later on, maybe you'll be able to bring other people into your videos, have other characters, maybe you don't wanna show your face, maybe your channel is for a business. There's no right or wrong answer here. You can use your own name for a channel that's supporting a business, or you can use a branded or descriptive name for a personal channel. One thing that I think it's really important that you know is that the name of your channel is not going to determine the fate or the success of your channel. You can have a channel that has a completely random, meaningless name, and it can still do incredibly well. You know what though? Things don't have to be that black and white. Your only options aren't just your name or else a brand name. In fact, one of the very best options for a lot of people is to do a combo. So you use your name or even your brand name plus a descriptive keyword. That way your channel will rank better, which is important because a lot of getting your channel to succeed on YouTube is working with the algorithm, getting into suggested and search. And that starts with your channel's name. Now, like I said, that doesn't mean you can't name your channel any old thing you want and your channel can't still do well. That's totally true. But you can give your channel a little bit of a boost if you include some sort of descriptive term along with your name or your business's name. And one more really important thing to know about choosing your channel's name is you can change it. So don't stress out too much about choosing the perfect name, especially while your channel is still new and small. It's completely all right to change your channel's name. And as you start making videos, you might get a better sense of exactly what the topic is that you're talking about or who you want to show up as online. Once your channel is big and successful, of course, you don't wanna go willy-nilly changing your channel's name every other week or anything like that, but that is a problem you can worry about on another day. For now, just choose a name that you're happy with and comfortable with and start creating. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you around YouTube Creator Studio because this is where you're going to manage all of your content and manage your channel. So whenever you're on YouTube, all you need to do is click on your profile picture in the corner and then click on YouTube Studio. 
and it is going to take you into the YouTube studio where you can see how well your latest video is performing compared to your recent videos. And it tells you how many subscribers you have and how many views you've gotten in the last 30 days and how much money you've earned in the last 30 days and your top performing videos. Tons of really useful data that can help you to figure out what content you should make on your channel going forward. Now again, of course, when you first log in here and you haven't made any videos yet, it's gonna be mostly blank, but it's still good to start familiarizing yourself with the YouTube studio because it is going to be your best friend going forward for managing your channel. Obviously, one of the most important things you will need to do to start a successful YouTube channel is to make videos and to publish them on YouTube. So here's how you do that. Whenever you're anywhere on YouTube, you just click this little icon right here with the plus on it. If you hover over it, it says create, and then you choose upload video. You can also do this from inside the Creator Studio. You can click this big create button and then choose upload videos right there. Either way you do it, it's going to take you to this screen right here where you can drag and drop or select files that you want to upload. So then you just choose the video that you want to upload to your channel, click open. And then this module right here is going to walk you through kind of configuring all the settings for your upload. So you can decide what the title is, you can write the video description, and then down here you can upload a thumbnail. It's also going to automatically populate some auto-generated thumbnails, but I'd really recommend you upload a thumbnail that you design separately or just a photo you take because it's going to perform way better. Because by doing that, your video will be much more appealing looking and people will click on it more and that will help it to rank better in the algorithm and get suggested more and just overall get more views and help your channel a whole lot more. You can also do tons of other things here like adding your video to playlists and stating whether or not it's made for kids and whether or not it includes a paid promotion. And you can also configure all your monetization settings and add video elements like those cards up in the corner of the video and the end screen elements, those different pictures of videos you can click on to watch more videos and all of that sort of thing. And then it automatically checks your video to make sure that it doesn't appear to be infringing on any copyrights um, or not approved for advertisers or anything like that. And you can decide exactly when it is going to go live. You can either publish it immediately or you can schedule it. Normally I like to use the schedule option so that I can work on my videos throughout the week and then always schedule them for consistent days and times. Now, just because you post a video on YouTube definitely doesn't mean that it's going to automatically be successful and get hundreds of thousands or millions of views. You need to learn about YouTube strategy, about SEO, and about how the algorithm works so that you can work with that algorithm and make your video take off. I've made a lot of videos about these topics already, so I'm gonna link those down in the description so you can find them really easily. Okay, so I don't know about you, but personally, I like it when things are really practical and actionable. I hate it when people give me advice and it's big and vague. It's like, no, just tell me what to do. So that's what I want to do for you. Your first action step is simply to decide what your channel is going to be about. Choose your main topic. Action step number two, come up with 50 plus video ideas that fit within that topic. What? 50 video ideas? Okay, I know that sounds like a lot and I get varying reactions when I advise people to do this, but really it's gonna help so much. If you push yourself to come up with 50 video ideas, you are going to prove to yourself whether you really have enough to say and can come up with enough different video ideas to turn this into a full-on channel. You're also going to increase your confidence in your ability to come up with video ideas, and you're going to ensure that you have a nice big pool of video ideas to choose your first topics from, which will ensure that you'll actually come up with good ideas. Your next action step is to simply create your channel, obviously a necessary step. Then you need to decide what your filming and uploading schedule is going to look like. How frequently are you going to post videos on YouTube? Now, personally, I'd recommend that you start with once a week. Some of you might find that easy, some of you might find that incredibly difficult, but it's a nice steady pace that fits within a regular routine where you can develop a routine for filming and editing your videos and then posting them on the same day every single week. 
Once that becomes easier for you, once you get faster at the process, of course, if you want to, you can start uploading more frequently. But a lot of people burn themselves out or just completely overwhelm themselves if they start trying to upload more frequently than that at the very beginning. So you'll probably start this process by deciding what day each week you want to upload, but if you want to be able to follow through and actually upload on that day, you'll need to backwards engineer this a little bit and think about, okay, if I want to upload on that day, what day do I need to film on and when will I edit this video so that it will be ready to go by that point? I'd recommend you give yourself about a week to film and edit each video. So for example, if you want to post every Tuesday at 8 a.m., like I do on my channel, then you will want to film your video the previous week on Monday or Tuesday, and then you can edit it throughout the rest of that week. And if there's anything left to do on the weekend, you can finish it up and get it scheduled to upload on Tuesday. Once you've done those steps, you'll be ready to film and edit your first video, and so you can go ahead and do that. My biggest tip here is just don't get too much up in your head about it. Try to keep it simple, just film it. It's not gonna be perfect, edit it, and post it. Not that many people are going to watch it. It's gonna be a learning experience, but you're going to learn a lot from it, and it's going to help you grow into the person who will be able to grow your channel into a big, successful, profitable channel. Let's talk about goals for a minute. A lot of new YouTubers who are serious about YouTube, they want to set goals. I've heard goals anywhere between, I want to get 100 subscribers in the next year, all the way up to, I want to get a million subscribers in the next year. But invariably, people tend to be kind of long-term focused, at least with YouTube, maybe with all goals, I'm not really sure, and they often tell me what they want to do in a year. This is exactly the opposite approach to what I would recommend. I want you to set relatively small goals and then be ambitious about how quickly you can get them done. So for example, your first goal will just be to create your channel. Then your next goal can be to create and publish your first video. When it comes to subscriber goals, again, keep them really small. Start with a goal to just get your first 50 subscribers or your first 100 subscribers, but challenge yourself to do it as quickly as you can because this will really help you to get momentum right from the start. In the YouTube Accelerator program my company runs called Creator Fast Track, this is exactly the approach we take. First, we help people get to 100 subscribers as quickly as possible, and then we teach them different strategies to tackle the next goal of getting to 1,000 subscribers over the next two to three months. And of course, as you reach each of these goals, you can set a goal that is a little bit bigger and you will get a sense of how quickly you will be able to reach those bigger goals as you meet the smaller ones. Now, one thing you might be wondering though is how are you going to meet those goals? Like, what are you going to do? There are two main things and I apologize that these aren't even more specific, but these are the two most important things. The first one is that by making the videos and posting them and seeing what happens, you are going to learn so much. You're gonna be practicing and you'll figure out how to improve your videos and you'll figure out what your audience is responding well to. So practice and learn from it and look for areas to improve. The second thing that will help you reach your goals is by studying the algorithm. This is something I've said over and over again. I had a first channel that failed. Then I decided to regroup and try again. And the main thing that I did differently was I became a student of the algorithm. I poured countless hours into studying YouTube and figuring out exactly how the algorithm worked. And when I launched my second channel, that work paid off. And I took that channel to a thousand subscribers in just three months and to 55,000 subscribers in my first year. And that was all because I studied the algorithm and I figured out what was actually working on the platform. Starting a YouTube channel and making videos is definitely a lot of work, but I can honestly say that it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. Starting my channel and sticking with it has changed my life in more ways than I can even begin to tell you. A huge part of turning your channel into success is getting views. And how to get views mostly is about learning how to work with the algorithm so that the algorithm likes your videos and likes your channel and recommends them and ranks them well in search. And there is way more that goes into working with the algorithm than I have time to get into in this video unless I wanted it to be literally an hour long. So what I did is I put together a free 60 minute masterclass all about working with the YouTube algorithm. It's called Three Secrets to Reach 1000 Subscribers and Get Monetized in Just 
three months. If you haven't already watched this workshop, it is really a must watch because it is going to teach you all of these different secrets that will help your channel to grow as quickly as possible and to make sure that you're working effectively with the algorithm. So check the description box down below for the link to sign up for that free workshop. I have a lot of other videos on my channel all about how to start and grow a successful YouTube channel. It's basically like a free course already, so I'm gonna be sure to link a whole list of those videos in the description down below. I'll try to include the titles for each video as well so you can kind of scroll through them and pick and choose the ones that will be most helpful for you where you are right now, so be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I upload new videos every single Tuesday at 8 a.m., so I'll see you then.